hello welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to cut this beautiful kimono jacket with the shirt that you are seeing on your screen and if you're interested in this video watch to the end if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please show your girl love and hit the subscribe button like and share this video if you find it helpful leave your questions in the comment section and i will attend to them also turn on your notification bell for you to be notified whenever a new video is up let's get started these are the materials we need one inch elastic scissors tape telos chalk chiffon fabric cotton lining and your customer's measurement so this is my starting point line i'll be cutting the cutting line first so for the band i'm going to mark four inches and the band is going to be cut with the trouser it's not going to be separate then i'll connect the points together so this is the band then from the band here you place two inches on it and measure 20 inches for the trouser length including the one inch for the folding allowance all right and measure here as well then i'll connect the points together so the next thing is to mark our hip depth and our crotch length which are 9 inches and 10 inches respectively so for the hip the measurement is 42 divided by 4 we give me 10 and half plus 1 inch sewing allowance making it 11 and half so i'm going to mark 11 and half and connect the points together so for her lap her lap is 26 inches divided by 2 we give 13 inches all right that 13 inches will add one inch in allowance to it making 14 inches so i'm going to mark 14 here on the crotch line so i'm going to need to adjust the fabric so now it is 14 so that is a lap measurement and for the e plane i'll have to mark a new one so this is the new hip line and ignore the previous one ignore this one okay so for here you place 1.5 inch there and you mark the next thing is to measure the crotch line which is 14 divided by 2 it gives 7 inches then you come here and mark seven inches inward so now for the tie the measurement i'm working with is 20 inches 20 i'm going to add four inches so in allowance making 24 the 24 now i'll divide it by two is going to give me 12 inches then i'll minus half an inch from it making 11 and half then i'm going to divide 11 and half by two which is 5.7 so that 5.7 will be placed on this mark then i'm going to mark it on this point in yeah as well so the next thing i'll be doing is to connect to the hip line And also connect this to the crotch line so after you are done connecting with the straight line you reshape it okay so the next thing is to come here and come down by half an inch then I'll connect this point to this point the straight line then 
the next thing is to cut it out and I'll use this front panel to cut the back panel so this is the front panel and I've placed it on the back panel remember when we're cutting the front panel this point here we measure we divided the crotch line by two to get this point and the crotch line was 14 inches divided by 27 so from here now i'm going to go in by seven inches all right so now the distance between this place i'm going to measure it and what i have here is four and half so four and half divided by two we give 2.2 so i'm going to mark 2.2 so this is the 2.2 mark okay so from this point i'm going to mark it upward on the back panel so the 2.5 on the crotch line i'm going to come here and mark it here like so okay then i'll come to this place and i'll extend it out with a straight line okay then i'll measure what i have for the waist measurements for the front panel so what i have is 11 and half so from here you measure 11 and half so this is where it stops at you mark this point then you connect it to the other point all right so from here now we connect to this point okay to this place with a straight line like that so on this other side here i'll extend this place outward then mark one inch then come to the crotch line here, I'll extend it outward too. Then I'll mark 2.5 inches on the line here. Then I'll connect this point to that point with a straight line. So this is it, but I'm still going to use my free hand to reshape it like so. So for the back crotch, you have to come out more than the front crotch with one inch. So I'm going to place my tape like this and mark it. So the next thing I'll be doing is to measure the distance from here to here. So what I have here is 10.2. So I will measure the 10.2 on this point on this other line. So this is where this 10.2 is. So I'm going to come from here now and retrace the line. Like this. So the next thing is for me to cut it out. Then after I'm done cutting it out, I will use the lining to cut out the chiffon fabric. Okay, you know this is the lining, the main fabric which is the chiffon. I'm going to use this lining to cut it out. All right. So for the kimono, this is my starting point line and I have 14 and half inches on fold and it's into four one two three and four okay so here i'm going to come down by two inches then for the neck width the neck width is going to be three inches
Then I connect this point to that point. So this is it. Then for the back neck depth, it's going to be one inch. And then for the front neck depth, it's going to be three and a half inches. Okay, so here I am going to come down by 11 inches. Then I'll come in by 1 inch. Then connect the points together. So here now, I'll still come in by another one inch. Then the next thing I'll do is to mark the half length, which is 16 inches. Then the hip depth, which is eight inches. Okay, for her hip measurements, the hip I'm working with is 42. 42 plus 12 inches is going to give me 54. So 54 now divided by four is going to give me 13 and a half. Plus half an inch sewing allowance making 14 inches. So I'm going to mark 40 inches on the hip line. That's it. Then I'll connect this point to this point. So like that and the rest I'm going to cut them straight. Okay, so for the front part here, I'm changing the next tie. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 16 inches from here, measure 16 inches downward, then mark the points. Then I'll connect this point to this point. And that is it guys. The next thing is I'll be cutting it out. And I'm done. So for the kimono, the length of the kimono is 58 inches. 58 inches plus the journey here and the hemming is 58 inches. So now I'll take it to the sewing machine and start sewing. So here I have the fabric for the shorts. Okay. And I'm going to be joining the front panel first. So I'm going to arrange it. So this is the lining and this is the chiffon. So the wrong side of the chiffon to the right side of the lining. Then I will pin it down and do same to the rest of the fabric. So this is for one side of the front panel. And this is the other side. Of the front panel so I'm going to pin them together so this is it I've pinned them together and I'm going to mark one inch like this because I'll be joining it together with one inch so this is it when you open it up this is what it's looking like so I'm going to go ahead and join the back panels together as well so this is for the back panel too. Alright, so the next thing is I'll join the sides together. So I'm going to join the front panel and the back panel together. So I'll pin it down. I'll pin them together and join. With one inch as well.
then as you can see i've joined them together so i'm going to take it to the overlocking machine now and weave it so the next thing i'll be doing is i'm going to be joining this side with one inch as well okay so now i'm done joining then for the elastic the waist measurement i'm working with is 32 inches then i'm going to remove four inches from it making 28 then add one inch for sewing allowance of the elastic making 29 so i'll be cutting 29 inches all right then for the journey of the elastic i'm going to place one inch each of the size of the elastic i'm going to place it on each other like so and stitch and that's it so the next thing is i'm going to be starting from the front so play, I'll place the elastic like this and make sure it's one and a half inches, okay? Then I'll start sewing. And be careful not to stitch on your elastic. So this is the end result. And this is the back. So the next thing is I'm going to be folding the tie. Okay. So I'm done folding it with one inch. So the next thing is to sew the kimono jacket. So for this strip is four inches width. I cut it off camera. It's four inches width and unfold is two inches. So I'm going to use it to turn the front of the kimono. So I'm going to place it on the wrong side of the kimono. So this is the wrong side of the kimono. So I'll place it on it like this and stitch with half an inch. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'll go and weave it i'll take it to the overlocking machine and weave it then open it up and top stitch so this is it then i've turned it to the right side of the kimono and pinned it down so the next thing is i'll fold the neck of the back panel like this and stitch so i'm done with the stitching so the next thing I'll do is to pin the shoulder of the front panel and the back panel together and join it with half an inch. This is it. So now I'll fold the sleeve with half an inch. This is it. So now for the side seam, you come to the shoulder here and fold it like this. All right, then secure it with a pin. Then you come like this and measure 10 and a half inches. And that is where the sewing is going to start from. And I'll be stitching with half an inch for the side seam. So this is it. Okay, the next thing I'll be doing is I will take it to the overlocking machine and weave it. Then after I will come back and hem the damn part, then that will be her. Like and share this video. Thanks for watching.